Thank you very much. Merci beaucoup. First of all, let me just say this. We are all overwhelmed by what you have built here. Ashraf III, what a tremendous achievement. Congratulations. <laughs> Friends, in the year since we last gathered, the Ayatollah's regime has opened, openly increased its enrichment of uranium. It has stepped up its support for its terrorist allies, allies and proxies in the Middle East and around the world. And it has taken the suppression of human rights to new levels. So the need for change in Iran is greater than ever before, and the need for wor the work of this organization on behalf of the Iranian people is greater than ever before. <laughs> the regime is now, friends, it is in the process of fomenting a new and significant regional crisis. In other words, the regime is out to prove what you and others have long been saying, that it is the single most dangerous regime in the world today. Sadly and dangerously, some in the world continue to seek to camouflage this and instead try to appease the regime. They claim to want to reach out to the regime's moderates. Friends, are we really, do we really lack that kind of intelligence to believe that anyone, a senior in a regime like this, senior in a regime of extremism, of brutality, and of hatred, could ever possibly be a moderate? It is ridiculous. The right policy, the only realistic policy, is firmness and strength. It is claimed the apologists for the Ayatollah's regime. It is because the world, they say, has a stark choice, appeasement or war. Now, friends, you know and we know that is a false choice. Surrender to the regime's religious fascism is not an avoidance of war. It is an acceptance of the war that the theocracy is already pursuing through its proxies and allies against its neighbors in the region. It is also an acceptance of its quest for nuclear weapons and an invitation for the regime to pursue unspeakable greater war in the future. Weakness and appeasement will not avoid a military confrontation with this regime. Instead, they invite the regime to pursue even more aggressive confrontation in the future. The solution then is not weakness. It is strength. It is not to soften sanctions. It is to toughen them. It is not to accept its human rights atrocities. It is to condemn them. It is not to pursue appeasement. It is to push back and push back hard. Friends, the right response is not to surrender to the regime. It is to stand with the Iranian people and stand against this regime. Those are the people we must stand with. And that means standing behind the 10-point plan that Madame Rajavi and the National Council have committed to. Friends, that 10-point plan, your 10-point plan, is the, is the future. It is the future the world wants. It is the future that Iranians need. And it is the future you have long fought for. So I say again to you, my friends, do not give up hope. Do not in any way relent in your struggle. That new Iran is coming, and it will be an Iran that stands freely and proudly among the nations of the world. It will be an Iran that your efforts have inspired. So keep up the fight. Hazer, Hazer, Hazer.